Aloha, everybody. This is Dave Wallace coming to you from my home here in Waihua, Hawaii, and welcome to Sunday Tarot Reading. And this is a tarot reading for the week of uh, January 23rd until uh, the 29th of January 2023. So in the process, I've uh, the process I use is that I drew five cards, and uh, the cards were drawn in specific order. So the early cards uh, identify things that you can prepare yourself uh, for the uh, beginning part of the week. And uh, the middle cards, like uh, the third, the second and third cards, kind of like in the middle of the week. And then the final card, uh, you're dealing with the tail end uh, of the week. So that is a way to kind of like uh, judge what's coming up for the next week and how to prepare better for yourself. Okay, and let's begin. The first card that I drew is, okay, the Empress card, okay? And the Empress card, <laughs> actually, this is... Um, if you are in the uh, childbearing age, uh, this is a mother's card, okay? And this is a pregnancy card. So if you're looking forward to uh, having a child, this is a good card for you. And uh, congratulations, you, uh, this is a pregnancy card. Now, other things associated with the... Um, with this uh, particular card is the idea of feminine power, okay? And um, both male and female have female uh, feminine energy. And the feminine energy is uh, meant to balance out the aggressive male. So uh, it's not turning, um, you know, uh, too feminine. But you need that feminine touch in a way to balance uh, the aggression and to uh, be more uh, acceptable in crowds. <laughs> okay. okay, and that's a kind way of putting it. So um, early in the week, um, you know, if you are um, again child bearing age. And um, you know you miss you miss your period. Uh, go to the doctor, check out, check it out. Okay, and um, the call for feminine um, and motherhood and being a nurturer uh, is also a good way to start off the week um, because this card not only talks about uh, pregnancy and fem feminine power, but um, it's a mother card so a mother takes care of um, the children and family and nurture people support people and um, also it's a creative uh, energy behind um, this uh, feminine power okay so that's what to uh, that's what to look forward in the beginning of the week the second card is a really good card too Okay, and this is a star card. Um, all right, the star card here. All right, and uh, you have a person that is uh, dipping uh, water or having water in a well. Okay, and this is a great, a uh, really good card. And the star card is a hope card, and this means anything is possible. Uh, dreams can come true, and uh, and please allow yourself to dream, and reach, and try and elevate yourself. Okay, and um, this is hopeful future, and if you have aspirations to better yourself, then uh, begin taking the steps to do that. All right. So this is a star card. All right, the second card. Around the middle of the week, uh, you're gonna. You're gonna be experiencing a funk, <laughs> okay, and uh, nothing really to laugh about. But this card, you may recognize this as the uh, Five of Pentacles. And uh, for those of you who are familiar with the Five of Pentacles, uh, this suggests difficult times, okay, poverty, uh, ill health, and um, being low of funds and resources. And um, the thing about it is that um, the suffering and pain that you go through this time 
is only temporary. Temporary. This is something that will not last forever. It's just a rough spot right now. Um, coming to the end of the month, uh, you know, we may be low on funds because all of our uh, expenses for the month has taken up our bills, okay? And so things may, um, we may be short here and there. So it's time to try and uh, seek refuge, yeah? like the poor people here. So this is right around the middle of the week, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, okay? This uh, could be happening. Um, like I said, this pain and suffering is only a temporary thing because the next card that comes out is uh, the five of wands, okay? Sorry about the lighting. Everything is too bright. <laughs> but the uh, the five of wands and this is this card signifies victory, okay? And uh, you have your 15 minutes of fame where uh, you're seen as a hero, <laughs> okay? And um, so it's a triumph over everything and uh, you have your fame and glory. It also um, talks about good health, okay? So whatever troubles you're having uh, in the previous, uh, in an earlier part of the week, uh, you're going to, um, you're going to find ways to uh, get over it and you'll be able to conquer that. Okay. The final, <clears throat> uh, the final card that I'm pulling is for towards the end of the week. And maybe at work, um, it's not going to be a very pleasant, um, you know, uh, week uh, closing out, especially. And this card, um, the eight, um, the eight of cups, it talks about moving on, and the person is ready to uh, call in, uh, throw in a towel. <laughs> okay. In fact, they're walking away from a situation where everything looks okay, but just the conditions, um, the person had enough, okay, and is ready to move on. And we all uh, reach that uh, breaking point in relationships and jobs and careers where we look at what's happening around with us. And although, um, you know, from the outsiders, outsiders looking in, uh, say, hey, everything's working fine. But the person closest to the situation realizes that uh, it's time to move on, okay? And so this realization that it's time to move on, uh, change is coming, and uh, you're tempted to walk away, especially in work and career, and in some of your relationships, so you may be at this point, okay? So taking a look at this uh, this week, uh, it's going to be a roller coaster ride. Um, good news at the beginning of the week uh, for those of you who are expecting, uh, who want children. Uh, the pregnancy card showed up, and uh, this is hope for uh, fertility, growth, and nurturing and taking care of people. And um, the star card is another thing that um, you know talks about hope and uh, raising your expectations and believing in the future and aspiring for something great and good for you. Then towards the middle of the week, um, you run into a bump um, where uh, you have the five of pentacles and all of a sudden there's um, something. And the five of pentacles normally means a shortage of something um, where... Uh, you find yourself short of resources and you're struggling. Uh, and uh, the message was it's, it's only temporary. Okay. And so towards the end of the week, um, you're going to feel like you're a conquering hero, but uh, you're going to end the week probably looking back and stuff and saying, um, you know, there are certain things that you need to leave behind. In order to advance, you're going to have to leave things behind and walk away. Know when to walk away. Okay? Just like the gambling song, 
know when to walk away and when to run. <laughs> okay. And so this is the um this is a tarot reading for uh, this week, and I hope it uh it helps you folks in planning for your week and uh, preparing your week so things will not catch you by uh, by surprise. Okay. Um, I do give um, more detailed readings for individuals, and normally individuals will ask questions, and um, I will draw the cards like I just did uh, for you. But uh, in the ones that I do for individuals, um, these are more specifically uh, specifically geared to the needs of the individual. Right now, I'm broadcasting to the general public, and the cards that are coming up are uh, meant for the people that will be tuning in and listening, okay? Anyway, until next week, uh, actually, you're going to see me later on this uh, this evening when we take a look at uh, the numbers that were drawn on the, um, on the Florida Fantasy Five. So that's my next podcast. But until then, this is Dave Wallace from Waihawa, Hawaii. Say mahalo for watching and catch you guys later. Aloha. <laughs>